Today we're talking about eyelid tape. Does it work? Is it for you? Can you wear it with makeup? Can you feel it? All the questions answered. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have completely clean eyelids. So the first thing you need to do is use something gentle to completely remove all the oils from your lid. I'm using a very gentle facial toner with aloe vera in it. It's unscented and it's by Thayer's. And I'm going to use the Contours RX Lids by Design stickers. I chose this brand because they're medical grade, hypoallergenic, latex free, and the lady that owns the company has hooded eyes and created these for sagging lids. Now it's important to note that I did not edit out any of my mistakes or tries. I wanted you to see exactly what happened when I did this. And this is exactly how many times it took me to get this right. And don't get discouraged because it does get better. I had a terrible time with the little tweezers that came with it. So the first one that went on, I actually had to peel it off and do it again. It's a good thing there's 80 of these in the pack is what I was thinking. So I thought I would just use my gigantic fingers and do it that way rather than using those tweezers and get it stuck all over. The first hurdle for me was to figure out that I needed my extra finger to anchor it and then everything went really smooth. And you can tell that there's a difference between the two. It's not huge, but there is a little bit more of a visible lid on the one eye now. I am certain that if I used these all the time and practiced with them that I could actually make my movable lid that's over my eye appear to be much larger. You're supposed to figure out exactly where your lid creases and place the sticker there. See this time it was much much easier. Now let's move along and answer the question as to whether you can wear makeup with these. It says on the website that you can apply a primer over this. I'm going to get to the burning question of can you feel these in just a moment. For right now, you need to know that these are securely in place, that they're not sliding or moving at all, and that I wore these until 9 p.m. Now that my eyes have been primed, let's try some eyeshadow. I wanted to use my MAC palette today because it's very blendable and I know what to expect from it. I think the number one question on everybody's mind is, can you feel them? And all I can tell you about is my experience. When I first put them on, I could feel them. They were very light feeling, not bothersome. Anytime the eyeshadow brush touched my lid, I could feel that something was different there. But once I was done and all the makeup was on, I pretty much forgot that they were there. Removing them is a breeze. All you need is a little bit of your eye makeup remover on a cotton pad or a washcloth and then just let it sit on your eye for a moment like you normally would. Remove your makeup and those little stickers just peel right off. It's very, very easy. As I get the darker shadow on here, I want you to pay attention to where the sticker is because all of a sudden it becomes very evident where it is. Not only that, but I'm really having trouble with this eye to begin with because I'm trying to cover up some puffiness and then all of a sudden I could see that strip and I thought, oh boy, what am I going to do about this? I quickly realized that on me, I'm going to have to put a very light color there so that it doesn't look so obvious. I have to admit the first eye was a little tricky because honestly, it did change the way that I put on makeup because my eye is shaped slightly differently than what it normally is. Now that I have a little bit more of a movable lid, I'm going to go ahead and use some of that darker color as an eyeliner. Personally, I feel like the stickers gave me about three millimeters of more of a movable lid. And even though it doesn't seem like a drastic change, I could still tell a lot right out there on the outer corner of my eye. Now that I had an idea as to what to expect, I went ahead and started on my makeup for the other eye. I'm just going to speed through this quickly, but I do want you to see the difference after having a little practice on the first eye. So as a recap, on the first eye, it was difficult to figure out where the color was supposed to go, as well as how to hide that little strip with the color. 
On the second attempt, I've learned that I cannot do my eye makeup exactly the same way I did without the strip, and so I have adjusted a little bit. Now, I've always had hooded eyes my entire life, so having a little space right in there to kind of wing out a little eyeliner is pretty cool. And I'm wondering if you can see the sticker on the eye that I'm working on. If you just can't stand it and you want to zoom ahead to the end, you'll see a picture there of what it looks like when I'm all done. I'll be honest, I'm not ready to wear these every day. But seeing how the second eye turned out, I think this could potentially give me a very beautifully lifted look. And these are definitely something for consideration for the future. Well, let's go ahead and finish this look up really quickly. Curl some lashes, throw some mascara on, and jump into some eyebrow stencils. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I will have all of the products linked in the description as well as the top pinned comment. And if you're watching from somewhere else, you can comment that you need that list and I will provide you with the YouTube link. Meanwhile, I have decided to skip using primer today and instead I've opted to play around with my camouflage cream that I got from Catrice the other day. I actually used it for the first time last Saturday when I was live and I was really, really wowed by it. So I owed it to you to test this further to see what it could actually do. I like it. I like it a lot. It's actually a color corrector, like for dark spots on your face or pretty much anything you want to conceal. But um, it's not your everyday camouflage stuff. Anyway, let's get back to this. Let's do some lips. Press the hot button. No, don't press any button. That's the name of the lip plumper. It's called Press the Hot Button. $4 by Catrice, and then we're going to follow it up with the Ultimate Stay Water Fresh Lip Tint in the color Loyal to Your Lips. And then a little Better Than Fake Lips Volume Gloss in Plumping Pink. If you need lipstick or lip gloss and you want to give this a try, let me know and I'll give you that discount code. I love Catrice. No animal testing. They're vegan, paraben-free, gluten-free, and very inexpensive. I'll be honest, I don't waste a lot of money on blush because if I've got lip gloss, I've got blush. And I don't have to worry about my colors clashing that way. Now to keep my makeup all in place all day, I'm going to use my favorite makeup setting spray, which is by Scandinavia. Once that's dry, I'm going to hit my nose with a little airbrushing selfie powder. Then we're going to look at my hooded crepey eye up close with that sticker on it so you can see what it looks like. So you can see there, you can actually see the sticker, especially if you're looking for it. And I think if I had placed it a little bit better, you wouldn't be able to see them when I'm looking straight forward. Ask me a question or let me know what you think.